cleaning the house. Her wedding ring stayed lost under a pile of white underwear for six months. Cleaning the house has not been easy. 35 years of fabric scraps, pictures from high school, no one we recognize. $20,000 in 20s that may turn out to be more by the end of this. My husband's birth certificate proving he will always be hers. Squirrels defiantly urinate on year old peanut shells. Tomorrow, I will take down her old trellis, but for now, I will rest here drinking what's left of her wine in a room smelling of mint and marigolds drying out for future use. That is a poem that appears in a recent issue of Lit Shark, a great journal that is part of my side, my publishing side quest to be in journals named after animals. <laughs> you know, there's a lot of journals out there. So this is, it's a fun way that I'm, I'm just helping myself decide that when I hear that in journals named after animal of any kind, I like go check out the journal and say, oh, that's a cool journal. I want to be in that. Or, oh, they're named after an animal, but I'm going to pass on that. So <laughs> Lit Shark's part of my side quest. Yay. Uh, that poem is, I, I feel like the topic is pretty clear. It's about after my mother-in-law passed, which was many years ago at this point now, it was like 2008. And this poem has morphed and moved around and been in so many different forms, so many different ways. And it, I think it finally found what was important to it and has shared that. Uh, I think it's funny. Uh, I didn't think about this when I was writing it, but now reading it again that the room smells of mint and marigold which is true right like things things drying uh but also there was a the squirrel the trellis for the squirrels was like right outside she put like huge ears of corn just out for them and you know buy huge boxes of peanuts uh for them and so it probably also smelled like squirrel urine and old peanut shells. But let's stick with the mint and marigolds. That's a that's a better olfactory image, isn't it? <laughs> we can see the image of the squirrels urinating, but uh, let's let's not smell them. Let's keep it to the mints and marigolds. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I've been spending an awful lot of time lately uh, working on the meter cute interviews as well as preparing my own collection of poetry for for press. So I haven't been making very many videos of my own stuff. My apologies if that's something that you are looking forward to and I'm glad that you were looking forward to it. And I hope that I've got more time coming up to be able to make some videos of me reading my own writing. But I have really been enjoying the inter doing the interviews though. They It allows me to have interesting conversations with interesting people like I did back when I taught. I don't have to grade anything. <laughs> I'm not working 60 hours a week doing it. Ah, chef's kiss, right? Like it's amazing. It's great. Uh, but it, but it also means I haven't, I haven't had much time to write my own writing either. I need to work that out. Um, I've, I've cut back on some, some literary citizenship stuff. Uh, Although the meter cute interviews are literary citizenship, right? So that's still, a, it's still a thing. Um, do you feel pressure to do literary citizenship? Um, or are you one of the people who's never done worked on a journal or anything? I, I would be really interested to know. So put that down in the comments if you happen to be watching this and have, have thoughts about that, about how much of our time we put into um, helping keeping the writing community going, which I strongly believe that we need to be doing. But I also think that some people, it's not that some people take it more seriously, but some people do it a lot more. 
um, the fact that I got rid of two things and still have a pretty major one kind of says something. Uh, so I'd love to hear your thoughts on literary citizenship down below if you'd like to share that. Uh, I gave up being a meter mentor for the Poetry Witch community, although I am still active in the community, just not as active and sort of active in different ways. Uh, my roles are are just sort of switching around, um, stepping back a little bit. Uh, I also have stepped down from being a reader for the Dodge as well, trying to make more space to work on my writing and work on the meter cute interviews. So we'll see how that goes. Hopefully that was a good choice. I can always undo that choice at any moment, which is nice. It's like, like playing a video game and you reset. I don't even know what I'm saying. Thanks for stopping by. <laughs>